welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Bad Boys for Life. It is the third entry in the Bad Boys series, with the return of both Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. I did not know that Martin Lawrence retired from acting, which would explain why I haven't seen him in anything for a long time. I did hear that he came out of retirement just to return for this long-awaited sequel. The last Bad Boys movie came out 17 years ago, and that was Bad Boys 2, which, in my opinion, is the pinnacle of the series. Is this new movie, Bad Boys for Life, just as good? Well, let's talk about it. The movie story follows a string of random murder sprees involving the cartel, and Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett are back as a buddy cop duo, the Bad Boys to investigate the case and put a stop to it. The first movie came out in 1995. It encompasses everything that every 80s or 90s buddy cop action movie had. Good over the top humor, great no holds barred action sequences, and also had some great character dynamics from both Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. When the second movie released, a few years later down the road in 2003, Bad Boys 2 upped the ante and made everything larger than life. It still holds up as one of my favorite action movies of all time. Now we have another sequel that just released this weekend and I definitely had a fun time with it. We are given a breath of fresh air from Michael Bay directing as he directed the past couple movies, so and he gives the helm for director to give to someone else. It's a hard name to pronounce, so I'm not going to bother saying it and mess it up. Anyways, the new director does a good job to emulate the feel and charm of the past couple movies, and it shows. This is a fantastic movie that has great Miami scenic shots and overall great filming techniques. Speaking of filming techniques, there are some great slow motion shots and there is a shot where the camera turns on its side to show a gunfight from two separate floors of a building. It was spectacular. Both Will Smith and Mark Lawrence are both amazing in this movie. They have a great chemistry together in every scene that they share and their improv humor bouncing off in each other is equally fantastic. I could literally watch these two actors work together all day. This is a great action and comedy movie that, however, has some hindrance. There are some cheap fake-out moments that fail to stick the landing for any emotional impact that one would have. It bugs me when any movie tries to do that. There is also a character story arc in this movie which had a huge tonal shift that really goes Straight out of left field for me. I won't say who or what because of spoilers, of course, but that was another thing that bugged me while watching this movie. Overall, this is a great addition to the series. It has intense adrenaline-filled action scenes, great boisterous humor, and it was just fun to watch. I'm glad a fourth movie is in the works because I really love this series. Bad Boys for Life is definitely a movie that is not to be missed. I give this movie a B plus. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my real reviews.